This question says, if Carrier took a loan of 1.8 million to purchase a house at the start of 2008, and the bank charged her an interest of 9.25% per annum compounded monthly over a 30-year contract period. Calculate her monthly repayment. Now, we need to assume that she received the loan immediately and the first payment was made at the end of the first month. Okay. Now, because we are working with loans, we understand that we have to use present value, right? Present value annuity. Now, present value represents the amount of money I'm going to get right now and I would be returning the money as a monthly repayment over a period of time. Now, the present value is going to be 1.8 million. The interest rate of this loan collected is 9.25%, so we can write it as 0 0.0925 divided by 12. Now, we do divide it by 12 because it was compounded monthly. We are also told that this loan is going to take place over 30 year period. And since you are paying monthly, so we'll multiply 30 by 12. So we'll have 360 repayments. And we are trying to get the monthly installment. So X is what we are trying to get. Okay. Now the formula for present value annuity looks like this. Okay, so since we are trying to find this X, so we're writing our formula so that X is the subject. So now we can substitute each of our values. So we can put all this in the calculator, we'll get. So the answer would be, 14808,16. That's it. So B asks us to calculate her outstanding balance at the end of 12 years. Now, the outstanding balance is the present value after 12 years. So if that's the case, we're still going to use present value formula. Now, there are some things that will still remain the same. Our X would be the same thing we had in the previous question, which was 14,000... 808,16. Our interest rate would also remain the same. So this will be 0, 0,0925 divided by 12. The number of years is what to be different. Now, because you've paid 12 years, it means that you still have 30 minus 12 years left. Okay. Now, the answer we get, we multiply that by 12, which would give us. 30 minus 12, 18 times 12, 216. So what that means is that you still have 216 payments to make and we are trying to find the present value of what that will be. Okay, so using our present value formula, we can just substitute each of those values in there. It's going to be... So we just need to substitute all this in the calculator. So after 12 years, the outstanding balance would be 1.5 million, right? So I think that is 1555 five, 
by 284,45. 284,45. Okay, so that is 1,555,284 rand 45 cents. So this is the amount of money that will still be left after paying for 12 years. That's it.